Hello, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something that I haven't done in a very long time, which is just like a bog standard what I eat in a day. Because I know lots of you say like you want to know what I do in my life as well, not just food, but I'm actually... I don't know if you can hear kind of ill right now so I'm not gonna be doing a lot and obviously I haven't filmed for like two weeks because I was isolating and then last week just wasn't really a great week so I didn't film so I was like well I want to sit and have a chat with you so today we're doing a what I eat in a day obviously if you're new here quick introduction my name's Ro and I've been recovering from anorexia for like was it like eight months now maybe nearly nine months no eight months <laughs> so i'm actually doing so so well i've got myself to a healthy weight and i'm actually eating so much more intuitively now uh, which is something i've never managed to do so this is going to be me snacking and eating my three meals and just eating what i fancy really i haven't planned what i'm going to eat today so we'll just see where it takes us i do want to say this is a what i eat in a day not a what you should eat in a day so please do not compare your body is going to have different needs to mine we are different people living different lives so with that that being said, breakfast, I've got a bowl of crunchy nut and oat milk. This is only part one, I will be having something else. I was in a massive overnight oats phase when I was making overnight oats like every day and I do want to get back into that. I just keep forgetting at night and then I wake up and I just really crave crunchy nut. Mum's just made me a cup of tea and I am boiling the water so that I can poach an egg. Because I always have a two part breakfast, not even really a question at this point because I always am hungry in the morning. Unless I'm having oats and then it's more filling and it's fine. But I always have a two part breakfast. So I'm doing a poached egg. Cup of tea is always my first drink of the morning as well. Not a coffee in the morning kind of gal. I never have poached egg on seeded toast and that's giving a kind of weird vibe because there's like a seeded texture. I usually have it on sourdough but mum's slacking and hasn't baked any. <laughs> I think I left a bit too much of the water like on it when I put it on the toast. It's a bit soggy. But food doesn't have to be perfect. Still fuel. Finished and I think I am full now. So I will see you at snack. For snack, I am gonna make myself an iced coffee because I got a new coffee machine. I invested in one. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I was like asking for advice. So I'm gonna make myself an iced coffee because I'm kind of obsessed with them and it's so good not having to go and pay like three pounds for one at Costa. I'm also gonna have probably a banana, I kind of fancy that. No, I spilt it, I never spill it. That is so good. But I spilt it. I never bloody spill it. And then I'm filming and I spilt it. That's so typical. Just as I'm trying to show off my barista skills, really let myself down. Also, update. I am absolutely not scared of bananas one bit anymore. Fun times. Progress! I'm gonna finish this and I'll see you at lunch. Or when we get back from Aldi, if I have a haul. If they have good veggie and vegan stuff. Aldi haul! I got these, better than the normal walkers. I got some dairy-free chocolate ice cream sticks because I've been having those for puddings. I've got some salted caramel ones as well. And then I also got some salted caramel dairy-free ice cream because they've started doing that and the brownie one is amazing. The peanut butter one's okay too, but these are the best. I did get other stuff. I got some mini breadsticks and stuff. I need to go and fill my bottle up because I haven't filled it up today. Ew, why has it gone hot? My room's my room's really warm, to be fair, because I'm, like, facing the sun. I've been trying to drink two litres a day, and I've actually been doing quite well with it, which is nice. It makes me feel better. But also, I just wanted to say, I've been, like, taking a step back from my phone and just, like, having it switched off this week. Not the whole time. I've actually been on it 
quite a lot today. I found myself really just like overthinking everything and being like, the second I lose like a follower on Instagram, I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Like, does everyone hate me? Because I'm the sort of person to overthink like even my friendships in real life and be like, I'm so annoying and everyone hates me. So when I do that on social media, I'm just realizing like, sometimes you just really need to take a step back and be like, actually like my worth isn't in a follower account. My worth's not in like a number of likes. I never used to be like that, but then I just get worried that I'm doing stuff wrong. But you know what? Like it's my life, it's my social media. I do what I want and if people want to follow, they follow. Sometimes it is fun to <laughs> turn your phone off and do something else. So yeah, I'm gonna go fill this up and I'll see you at lunch. I have got avocado on a sesame bagel, which is a bit of a internal panic lunch for me still, which is really odd because I have been challenging avocado for ages, but something in my little pea brain still decides that it's a bit scary. And obviously like bagels are still a little bit, a little bit iffy, but the only way you will ever get over your fears is by facing them over and over and over again. And I know that one day I won't be panicky at all about it. I'm not as panicky as I would have used to have been. It's just still a little bit, which is annoying. It's fine, isn't it? Absolutely. I still have my placemat. <laughs> Carbs, fats and calories are all essential. They literally are. And we're trying to thrive. It has not really been a hot girl summer because it's been very cold and just gone really fast. But we'll have a hot girl winter instead. Actually, no, a fed girl winter. Mm. Adding smoked garlic granules into your avocado. Game, Game changer. changer. What is the point in being scared of different types of food? They all do the same job, which is fueling your body. Your body doesn't know like, oh my God, I'm having Nutella. Oh my God, I'm having avocado your body doesn't know it doesn't care all it knows is that's getting energy and that's getting fuel and that's getting good nutrients from it food is just food very profound i'm a philosopher also can we have a moment of appreciation appreciation appreciate appreciation i'm actually broken for the size of the bites i'm taking now and the speed i eat at we have come a long way Part two of lunch. My mum always laughs because I do my lunch in parts, but I just never serve it at the same time. I don't know why. I'm having a packet of oven baked walkers. Now, the reason these are better is not because they're baked. Well, maybe it is, but it's because of the texture. I just way prefer the crunch that these have over the normal walkers. Let's go for it. This is your sign if you are thinking about food and you're hungry or you need to go get a snack or extra dinner time or breakfast, whatever, go and get something to eat because you and your body deserve it. She did it. Well done you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna finish this and then I guess I'll see you when it's time for a snack. I'm just editing my today's video and I just thought it was really interesting. Like I thought I'd talk about this. I said earlier, like at lunch, like, oh, like I'm still a bit scared of avocado. I think there's something to unpack there because I am sure that I have said, like, I don't think I'm that scared of avocado anymore. But I think that fear food's kind of come back a bit. I don't ever really see anyone talk about, but it's really odd. Like I feel like if you leave a fear food, even a short space of time sometimes, it can just come back and you start fearing it again and i think i kind of did that with avocado like i didn't have it for a little while and it got scarier again so yeah i just thought that was interesting i have noticed recently like i've been freaking out more about avocado so this is your reminder that if you have any fear foods keep on top of them i'm gonna go get snack actually and i genuinely don't know what i want to have to be honest i feel like something chocolatey yeah you look like something chocolatey <laughs> lol <sighs> fed up of being the joke of this family. <laughs> My snack tin, come on out. I've got like a billion different snacks to be fair. Oh, I've got a dark chocolate nuts and sea salt kind bar from Ashley's Bowl on Instagram if you follow her. She sent me loads of snacks. She's done it twice now. I'm like, Ashley, you're too kind. But I really fancy that actually. And then I might have a cup of tea as well. Should I make a cup of tea? I didn't actually think you'd offer, thank you. See, what I was just saying about avocado, really weird because nuts, I've actually been challenging for less time, but I think I find them way less scary than I used to. Oh, man. I think kind bars are so nice. They're very kind to your body. Look how good that looks. My hair looks horrendous today. It's just so hanging. I'm really not loving it. This is so good. Man, I'm actually quite hungry. I've been very distracted. Not a bit. 
that was so good I'm realizing like I'm doing so well today like I'm actually not really needing much support obviously my parents are in the room but they haven't even like said that much to me and I'm just doing it and like I, I think it makes sense because I am kind of sticking to stuff that I'm a little more comfortable with well a lot of it's actually pretty safe but that shows like a lot of progress because they were literally having to guide me through every meal like every other bite and they're not anymore so I'm just quite proud of myself for that I'm making a dinner tonight that I've been having a lot recently. It is a bit challenging, but I'm dealing with it and I want to get over it because it's really nice. So I'm making pasta for dinner and I just ran out of brown pasta. So you know what? I'm improvising, I'm adapting, I'm overcoming and I've got some little white bits of pasta. I'm just frying some mushrooms in a little bit of oil with some garlic. I'm just chopping some olives and some sun-dried tomatoes to put in my pasta. Two things which used to really scare me, but I've been challenging them. Putting in some vegetarian pesto and some nooch. Yeah, that's getting in. So I put a massive bowl of pasta, which obviously I've been challenging for quite a while, but this is like a big boy. But we're just gonna enjoy him. He looks very good and he's very nourishing. Got five whole bits of white pasta in there. <sighs> Food, fuel, wonderful stuff, family dinner, lovely. I'm going in with the adjectives. Anxiety <laughs> is just anorexia trying to wheedle its way in and we don't like that. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I love that pasta. The thing that's mentally like freaking me out about this is my brain's like, oh, that's such a big dinner. But like, it's literally not. But like, this is such a normal sized dinner. And I think when you've suffered with anorexia, like it really warps your perception of what a normal sized meal is. And if you're one of the people that's gonna comment and be like, I couldn't eat that much. I can eat that much because I'm really hungry and my body is healing. And actually I think people really underestimate the amount of food that the average person needs. And even women, like we're taught that we don't even need that much food. Like diet culture's like, oh, you can survive on barely anything. Well, you can't. This is a normal sized meal. And actually, if you need to eat more of this to be full, then that's fine. But like, I'm just gonna eat what I'm hungry for. And I am hungry right now. So I'm going to finish. Well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Top job. The whole family applause. That was really, really nice. And despite my brain being like, it was massive, I'm not even full. Eat till you're satisfied. Eat till you're full. Listen to your body. My body's actually not full right now. This is something I've been working on. I need to be intuitive. I want something else. I have a pudding like every day anyway. Wow, you're so cool. Oh, bro. Cool kids eat pudding. Oh, bro. Did you just go, oh, bro? Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. I'm going to have one of my Aldi ice cream sticks that I got today. <laughs> We're going go for a homie. <laughs> <laughs> this family is too much. I'm actually moving out. This is the best part of recovery is just being able to listen to your body and be like, hey, I want more. <laughs> this is the best part of recovery. <laughs> I'm doing a magic trick. Right. <laughs> I got a salted caramel chocolate ice cream stick. Oh my god, it looks like the non vegan one. What the fuck is that? Ah, it's a bit of like fish oh. on my finger. And this is a. This is. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's too much. It's fine. I'm doing it. Mm, it's very sweet. Also, the chocolate's really thin on this compared to the non-dairy one. Yes. Dairy ones. Flattering an ice cream. Oh God. Good girl. Thank you. Well done, darling. It's just so good because I was always like, meal plan wise, I've always been like, I have to have a pudding. So I like to actually just say like, oh no, well I'm not full. Oh. I want something else. I mean, mentally that's really yeah. hard. But it's it, positive, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it just shows that like I'm getting stronger and more independent, yeah. which is so good.
So I'm very proud of myself actually. So I smashed that and I will see you at evening snack. Do you know what? I'm sat here and I'm starting to feel really, really guilty. I'm starting to feel I am feeling really, really guilty because my brain's just sort of like, oh God, like I've eaten so much and my body's gonna go out of control and everything's gonna go wrong. And I'm just like, you know, catastrophizing because of what I've eaten. And I need to rationalise and just remember that, that is so stupid because I'm eating what I'm hungry for. And I know at the minute I'm actually only eating enough to maintain my weight, uh, which is what I'm meant to be doing. I have the fact, but my brain is still telling me over and over again, like, oh my god, but you're going to have gone out of control. I'm putting way too much value on what my body looks like and what other people will think of me and what I'll think of myself. And I need to remember that actually, if I'm eating what I'm hungry for and I gain weight, then I was meant to gain weight. And if I eat what I'm hungry for, eventually my body's just going to settle down because it will be at its natural happy weight and my natural happy weight was never the smallest size stick thin it was never that so i need to just rationalize and get into my head that is actually all fine good evening good night good i've already seen you this evening for my snack i have decided i'm gonna do my favorite thing which is a yogurt bowl i'm literally just gonna have yogurt and granola though because we don't have any berries and stuff i'm gonna have cheeky nibble granola because i'm nearly finished it but it's so good i'm gonna have the vanilla latte one because this is the last one I actually broke into but I've become obsessed with it and fallen in love with it. I literally sound like I'm just trying to be a YouTuber, don't I? I'm obsessed and I've fallen in love with it. I can see my neighbour's head poking over the top of the fence. Hey! I'm gonna have some vanilla yoghurt, some cheeky nibble. Yes. Guilt has no place no. in this house. Especially not around food. None of us were ever guilty of our food. I guess it will take like a while to undo all the disordered learning I spent like five years learning. But just gotta fight it every day. And I'm so much better than I was. Mm, you sort me out. Yeah. I am working so hard on fixing my relationship with food. It makes me angry how messed up it got because I genuinely used to have such a good relationship with food and I want to have the freedom that I had back. It just angers me that I still think so much about everything all the time. I'm sure you won't forever though. Even if you have thoughts every now and again when you're not like fully fully recovered, you'll just be so strong in dealing with them because you already are. Bam, beautiful snack. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give it a like. Maybe subscribe, stick around. I hope you took something from today's video or ate something with it and it comforted you or just had a good time. My brain is literally not working. I love you. Treat yourself with kindness and I will see you all soon.